can see shimmering water. Wait a minute. I think there's shimmering water right over here to the left. Coming out right off the top. And then the water starts to get a little darker blue green and then deeper blue and then then darker blue and blue midnight blue and and blue black and finally it's black absolutely dark and uh, it takes about an hour and a half to get to the bottom and there's nothing special to do during that hour and a half you can look out the window and when you get a little deeper you see flashes of uh, bioluminescence going by because you disturb animals in the water of course you can watch the temperature of the water getting colder and colder and colder gets to about two degrees centigrade just above freezing at the bottom so we're getting closer to the bottom and uh, so you put your face up against the window and they turn on the lights and you're looking for some sign of some pattern to come and it doesn't come and it doesn't come and suddenly you see the bottom appearing the space between the rocks was all filled with masses of these mussels, big mussels, five or six inches long. I said, let's get a sample of the mussels. So he grabbed, put the arm down there and pulled out a bunch of mussels as a sample. And then suddenly there was shimmering water appeared above the, and I hadn't seen the shimmer of the water before. But suddenly this was shimmering water, which meant warmer water was mixing with cold waters. And then John Edmund and I went on the third dive and that's when we, that's when the voice recording was made. And that's when we, finally, the sampler worked beautifully. It looked just like a tide pool, though, with anemone and little crabs and our samples I gave to the U.S. National Museum. And uh, they discovered that they were chemosynthetic bacteria. And so th th there are chemosynthetic bacteria living down inside the vents, but also there are chemosynthetic bacteria living inside of the organisms. It wasn't until the last dive was over and uh, the submarine came up, people got off, Captain Hiller sailed up with the, the Nor, and he dressed the ship as kind of a celebration. And the wind was whipping and uh, the, there were white caps uh, developing. It was a glorious, beautiful day. And that's when I started to think about, ooh, what is this going to be? How is this going to change life, change my life, change science? And it was clear that uh, it was going to have a huge impact. Mm -hmm.